Hey guys, welcome back to Say What Reacts. We are back, back, back. We are back again with an AT's video for you guys. AT storyline. Yes, because we have a couple things. Yes. That have come out. That have come out. Since we literally, this one came out like two days after we filmed our last yeah. one. I was like, you've yeah, got to yeah, be yeah. fucking kidding me. This, I was like, this, of course it did. Of course it did. Yeah. I was gone at the time, to be fair. You were. And yeah, when yeah, I came yeah. back, they released something like as I came back. Yeah, Limitless. Yeah, yeah. that's so weird. Yeah. So, we're reacting to a spinoff from The Witness epilogue. I know it's only like a minute and a half. My nose are just, sorry. And then um, we're going to be reacting to Limit Limitless official MV as well. Limitless is a Japanese MV. Mm. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to post it with no problems. I posted mine, individual reaction, right. um, with Caitlin with no problems. So, but I paused a lot. I got really excited. I was like, yeah. oh my God, what's this? What's this? Right. I was pausing like crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. See, this is why I can't do an initial reaction with you because I'd be pausing the shit out of stuff. You'd be but like, let's play this. Nah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> Because it just gives me more time to observe. Observe what you're and absorb. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Very true. Um, so, yeah. See, he doesn't get upset at pausing. But I think at the same time, too, like what you're used to doing in your format, and then us doing a lot of videos at this point, we've done like hours of videos together. Oh, so many videos. We've kind of like rubbed off on each other in terms of what are we looking for now and kind of shifted the, the perspective of like, oh, wait, actually, I should start paying attention a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've always tried to pay attention yeah, to a lot. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, oh, that reminded me. We're, okay, no, I'll, I'll tell you later. Um, to, but to be fair, I've always tried to pay attention to a lot, to but it's fair, very yeah. overwhelming. <laughs> like, is. there's so much happening in some of these music videos. Um, but anyway, so this is going to be spin off from the Witness ep epilogue, which is, I mean, we saw the witnesses yep. at the end of Halizia, yeah, fucking did. creepily standing at the top of that thing, yeah. just staring yeah. and witnessing. Well, Halizia is a creepy place. I'm, I'm calling it Halizia. That place is creepy. Yeah, all, yeah, all together for sure. Um, I wouldn't want to be there. Huh? Is that the Genesis? Is this where like the dimension started opening? Is this just like a separate time? There's a lot happening. If you don't, a if you haven't seen our storyline reactions, you should probably go back and yeah, watch them. By the yeah. way, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's oh my wild. god, my nose itches. Fuck. Okay, sorry. I don't know why my nose is itching. Okay. Um, it's one thirty in the morning. <laughs> Eastern Standard Okay. Time. Yeah. Um, so we are gonna do this. Let's put this on pause. Let's put this on the screen for you guys, and pause warning on the screen as well. Yeah, pause warning. We're probably gonna pause, pause and talk warning. about shizzle. So yeah, um, let's make sure that that's an HD. All right, let's go, let's do this. Oh, sorry, I had to click that button. Okay, let's go. Oh. The lyrics in Halosia, they were like the little bluebird has lost his voice, mm -hmm. lost their voice, or whatever. Right, right. That was definitely one of the people on the top of the thing. Mm -hmm. So freaking pretty, Jesus. It's kind of creepy. Mm. Why are you standing there? Very promoting. Um, so. Yeah. Be free bracelet. Be free bracelet. What's that from? That's from the girlfriend video. Well, that's not the name of the song, but when he's dancing with the girl. With she the leaves, girl. Yeah, outside Which the is store. Inception. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And she drops the be free bracelet. So something that I found interesting mm. and something I said in my reaction with Caitlin, mm. I was like, he kind of like does this and I feel like. And not that we really saw much of a reaction from him, but I feel like from here, you know, there's that, and yeah. then it does that, 
and then we see something on the ground and he walks up to it and he picks it up and I feel like he's just kind of like looking at it. I feel like he's not like, I feel like it's not presented as, oh my God, I found it. Yeah. Or, oh my God. It's like the first time he's ever seen this thing. It's like it's the first time he's ever seen this thing. For sure, for sure. Which it shouldn't be the first time he's ever seen this thing because of Inception. Unless this is a different song law. Yeah. It's a different universe, baby. Parallel dimensions. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. And and that's something I've been harping on for a long time, and I waited for them. I didn't wait for them, but initially when the little girl was reading her monologue and explained... The first words. The universe is made up of of many dimensions. You're like, and here we have it. Uh, Everything's out the window. Anything is possible. Yeah. It's getting real sticky now. Yeah. So, like... Yeah. Hmm. I think, like, this Halazia... I'm going to call it Halazia. Yeah, this place, yeah. This world. The mystery man in the white. I'm convinced that's somebody in the group, right? You are convinced it's someone in the group, yes. I haven't seen anything otherwise. And this is starting to, like... And all the other dimensions and their timelines, they're all running at the same time. Mm-hmm. Right, because that because time's not real; it's a man-made concept. So, in the in the scheme of things, like it can, in one place can be prehistoric, and one place can be like super advanced and desolate. And we see that in the different worlds that they're going on through the different things too. So here, so so I know that time is a man-made concept, right? Yeah. But obviously, the passage of time we call it the word that we use is time, right? Right. right. Is not man-made. The mm. Time, like like things, like like the world rotates, like. Th- I'm, I have no other word to call it other than time. Yeah, time yeah, yeah, yeah. does pass, it but does. in the hours, minutes, seconds, mm-hmm. that is man-made yeah, concept. Yeah, sure, so sure. in that cycles. aspect, in that sure. aspect, yeah. time is not real. Yeah, it's a man-made concept, mm-hmm. but time is real in in the fact that you know, like the world is spinning, things mm-hmm. are growing, things are changing. Yeah. So the passage of time yeah. is real. Yeah, but not that's, in that's the. A way to frame it. So I, I, I don't know what other word to use. Cycles. Okay, the the passage of cycles. No, it's just cycles <laughs> themselves. Whatever. Yeah. You so. got your seasons. Yeah. You got your you got your you know, the stars are constantly moving. I guess you know I guess I mean? it would be for me. I, I'm I, I'm thinking of things growing. For sure. Um, and but like die. one right, but one right. individual thing growing is to me is not a cycle. That is a that is just something that's happening. But okay, you know, that's, but that's multiple things way. growing and dying. Right. Those right. are cycles. Like yeah. something grows, it dies, it happens. Something else grows, it yeah. dies. I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. And so like that aspect. And I think also too, what's heavily presented to us is the Cromer and the Cromer is ultimately a clock. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's a way to frame it in terms yeah. of time, but we don't know the rules of the Cromer when and where it yeah. was conceived and what it is. Is every grain of salt a, a second? Is it a minute? Is it an hour? Yeah. Is it, is it What are the rules of this Cromer? Right. And we've seen yeah. that we've seen the Cromer... Um, in giant form? In giant form, in little form, mm-hmm. destroyed, distressed, mm-hmm. stopped, moving in reverse. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We've seen it in all kind, in kinds of things. That, to me, that's more of like... The Cromer's ultimate, like, possibly an entity in itself oh. as well. Like a, like a, not necessarily like it's a being... But it's like a thing. It has its own power source. It has oh, yeah. its own thing happening. I play, I, I twist it constantly. I play. Yeah. I, and I put it down because I don't, don't want to break it. Twisting it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've been I, doing I, that I put too. Put it down because I'm like I don't want to break this thing. <laughs> and um and I and I feel like we're seeing a convergence of these timelines to 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 ultimate. Now why why do we see these convergence of timelines? We're seeing Hala T the Hala. Ooh, damn. It's a, uh, this is this is what I do. I will no. I lift. I do this. Yeah. No, do it with your finger. Yeah. And I just, I'm constantly just like, that's how I do. It's like a fidget spinner pen. It's not the most quietest, the most quietest? It's not the quietest thing. Yeah, that's crazy. But it's fucking. And it moves up and down. Um, well, that's because it's a, it's a pen. True. <laughs> so. I play with this all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. And now we're introduced to these entities known as the witness. Sis. <laughs> Witnesses. Yeah, because they present it as the witness, and the notes that we read, they only specify the witness, but it's plural. In, yeah, yeah. In that, and then what we see as there's, well. There's, 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 there's been four consistently. Right, right, but right. But 
there's at one point in the in the prologue of this, it was like a bunch of them, like in the stadium type yeah, thing, where there's a, a bunch of them, of them kind of there. Yeah. So this is, it looks like that, maybe there's, there's four few. prominent ones, right, like main right. ones, maybe that run this shit. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, although or there are just more. Be, than just, it could be a collective. Like those, yeah. we could just be seeing the the vessels. Yeah. You yeah. Know, for because we don't know who or what these things are, but I like the uh, the change of the lore of where the uh, like the Holotees themselves mm-hmm. like are they bad guys are they good guys are they even they're not even present here they're they're an opposing force in one thing but then they're also a terrorist organization in another thing they're allies they're enemies they're, there's a shaky alliance for some of the for the timelines that we're that we're seeing in this so this is this is like very interesting to me because now I think we're kind of getting into like that exo territory of not necessarily like good versus evil and that duality aspect of like what's the greater conflict moving moving on i just want to see like where is where is this coming so like this like to your observation this is almost like zero like this is the first time the concept of being free seeing this object he's just like Mm. what is this like cave well remember like i I feel like this is the epilogue and it's like san just freed them right yeah yeah yeah. you know by by restoring gravity and right. you know whatever and it's like and they're kind of like saying you can now be free maybe type right, of thing right or you're ready now yeah you know yeah. if they're this omnipresent thing if they're this this the witness mm-hmm. for what they are because that's also kind of like in comic books like the watcher there's like a an all-knowing all watching but doesn't get involved but now maybe things have happened to where it's just like okay now you've unlock the code mm. or you're ready for this information you're now you've earned this next mm. thing now so this is what we're doing but we but we've been introduced to other versions of ATs that are attached to this concept of just being free for themselves and individually or for the group or for their respective And that's the one from um Don't Stop MV with the, yeah. the pirate shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is this is like very very interesting where they're going right now. Mm-hmm. And there's a video after this? Limitless okay, is the Japanese that. MV okay. that came out let after me see this. That. So, this one I was very excited because it reminded me of something that you, the first time I heard you mention this movie, yeah. was in the AT, well, sorry, was in the EXO reactions. Mm. And I'm not even going to say it, I just, I'm just going to play this. Mm. And I think you're going to know what I'm talking about when you see it. Um, so yeah, let's put this on the screen and let's It's a movie that I mentioned this. in the EXO series? You have, okay. yeah. You've mentioned it a couple times right. now, but yeah. Calm down, your son. <laughs> I'm not really fine. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hong Jin Yo Song. I'm sorry. Like the gorilla music video on uh, the mask. For, yeah, the, for anarchy. Mm-hmm. 
There's a lot of similarities between ATs and XO when they're when they're getting in that battle conflicts with XO and XXO because there was there were fencing in that one. There was archery in that one. Mm-hmm. These are they involved with them? No, at all. At, like in terms of influence, I or mean, like that? Uh, San and Sungwa like. Their like idol is Kai. Okay. But I mean, other than that, right, 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 right. Then they actually got to dance with Kai for like a little like dance short thing, which oh, was really cute. fucking cute. Oh right. my god, it was so awesome. Right, right. Anyway, <laughs> I'll show you that. Afterwards. Yeah, yeah. So at first, I I was thinking kind of the same thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the between the fencing and the archery, and like yeah. we saw this in um, Obsession, yeah. and I didn't really say anything because in that they're fencing each other each other right. and they're they're do they're like yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. i'm like well I, I see similarities but it's not quite the same thing yeah, yeah yeah um well yeah that's son and son yeah 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 you know what movie i'm talking about right the one yeah. Jelly the one. Jelly the one. Have you seen it yet? I have not seen it yet. <laughs> you oh, told me. Look, dude, you told me so much about it. I don't even need to see it anymore. You need to see it. <laughs> Jason Satham is, is handsome as fuck. Jelly is handsome as fuck. I do love Jason. 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 What? Jason Statham. That one. That. Are you even try to say it with his accent? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that freaking acoustic part. I was like all emotional. I was like, I was so excited for them. I cry, started crying when I watched this. I was like, <laughs> like I was like, look at Overload, that. Overload, yeah. Yeah, I was just all ha- I was happy for them because it's like, it, I was I was like, oh my god, it's like they're like, they're the ones that are ready, yeah. not them. Yeah. And it's like yeah, so yeah. I was excited for them. It's like you know they're training, they're they're fucking gearing up. Right, right. They're right. you know what I mean. So right. it's like or, you know you're you're always like at the end of the day, regardless of what you're doing, you're always trying to beat yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. be yeah, true. That you're always. I didn't even think about that, yourself. but yeah, I was thinking because you know how like in in Hala Hala, you're yeah. just like. Um, they're 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 out there. They're in the field. They're yeah. ba- ready yeah. for battle. And yeah. that, but there was yeah, yeah, another yeah. one where you're just like they're like preparing. Mm-hmm. Like you know mm-hmm. what I mean. I feel like this is them training this is, and preparing. Yeah, you're actually seeing that training. But this is yeah. also like this could also be another version. Yeah, another version mm-hmm. of them. They have. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they like I said they were prepared when they got the in the little epilogue we just watched. Mm-hmm. We don't know who or when or what is happening is going on right now. But these guys are getting ready for something. They're training. They are these guys ready. are overtly training for sure. And while I mean, the other yeah. guys were discreetly training and on some gorilla shit. And just wait. I have a feeling. I, I know what you're gonna say. Or at least I think I know what you're gonna say. flash uniforms I got on. <laughs> what have you said about those uniforms? Yeah, 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 yeah. That there's and like parallels, right? So we've seen we've seen parallels in and or for example, like the the mystery hollow that's been creeping in dimensions, keeping tabs on them, and then we they actually have like that face to face. But we've already seen them in uniform, like rallying the people. Oh, uh, and fighting, Wonderland. And Wonderland fighting yeah. against the machine with the same machines that they that they got. So this is interesting. This is kind of like what I was saying back then. Like well, they're utilizing. you were saying in like say my name part where you're like these guys are like not really in uniform. They're like it seemed like on the low level yeah, tier, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. the guys across from them are leveled are up, like they're leveled up. up. Yeah. And then and we have Wonderland where they're actually in like yeah. with the marching band and, and they have in, medals and rank. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like these guys look like they're like the elite. Yeah. Like they're they're that, like the elite, the elite force. There's a fighting force. There's a specifically yeah. specifically. Yeah. They're like a fighting force. Like they yeah. are trained. They have defeated 
all of other versions of, of themselves. themselves or what they possibly um, can run into or that's how elite they are yeah like, there's nothing out here on our in our lifetime in yeah our timeline that are it's as like as us. this is this is yeah. the team you want right fighting right. for you yeah for sure for yeah sure. and then all of their old flags came back which we haven't mm-hmm. seen a flag in kind in a of a hot minute yeah and I, we've never seen it blue either yeah. if i'm not wrong so i'm like i was like i'm so excited yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i was like freaking out when i reacted to this yeah i was very excited and this to is see this, this is a different version of ats that we've seen like these are actually like a physical fighting force because we've seen like the very bureaucratic, like they're doing the paperwork, they're filing. Well, we, we've seen Hala Hala, but they weren't necessarily physically fighting. Like you could see the blood on the on the right, megaphone, right. and, and then it was, you could and that see... was like also kind of like like a like almost like a police type force. Yeah, and, like these guys are like spec ops. Like these they're, are like, these are the killers they're, right here. Yeah, the elite. Yeah, yes. these guys are killers right here. Yeah, they look so good in their uniforms. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I was just like, as soon as I saw them fighting themselves, I was like, ah, Carlos. Yeah, <laughs> and as soon as yeah. I saw the uniforms come back right. again, I was like, ah, yeah. Carlos. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can see that for sure, for sure. Yeah. But then, like, what if this is, like, some other stuff, though? Come on now. Like, Don't, what if what if we start now. getting into that, that obsession kind of, like, border? We start, like, drifting in that. What if these, these guys become the opposing force to the guys that we've been seeing? Of fighting like fire with fire, so we're just seeing all these versions of what's gonna happen now. Maybe they're the guys that at any time another version of themselves come into their dimension, they're like, "Nah, fuck you, I'm taking you out." Mm, I wonder because that's like, what happens if they got defeated and there was only one of those guys left? What happens then? Does he put on a white mask and a white suit oh to try my to continue the timeline? God, shut your face, Because it looks like that one guy can tear down walls and take on whole teams and make everybody escape that's all i'm saying i don't know not necessarily because uh he's he's one step behind him behind them all the, this entire time and in kingdom they defeated them in kingdom the white the guys in white right and they defeated the guys in black too the, the hala hala tees and the guys in white were both on the ground at the end and it was them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so they were both on the ground so they're, all they're just different all the versions maybe, maybe the guys in the white are also them right but this is this is the interesting. Spiky, spiky masks. Yeah, this is interesting from the epilogue of, you know, where they're introducing a concept of being free, but there is no real opposing force. They're just like we ain't got shit out here. It's desolate. Yeah, they're they're just training because and like you got the, might these as well guys, be prepared. These guys are not struggling for food or water or pressed by. They anything. look like they are. I mean, they look pristine. Yeah, their hair looks immaculate. They're in the best physical shape. They've got the best training facilities. You know the best equipment. I'm gonna tell you these guys are the most intimidating. Yeah, yeah. All, all the other versions had like a, a puckish rogue charm to them. Yeah. Even even like when in like, don't stop in Hala Hala. I think we're pretty those those two were pretty intimidating. But we could see it in their eyes that they weren't committed to that cause. Ah, uh, Hala Hala, they were pretty committed. They literally died at the end. So that's pretty committed, if you ask me. But these guys ain't dying for nothing. These guys ain't taking no shit. I mean, these guys ain't taking no shit. They wearing mm-hmm. that sash and that badge. They're committed to whatever, whatever they believe in. We just got to figure out. So when's the next video for these guys supposed to come? I don't out? Know. You said they have a They're comeback, gonna have a comeback, back, but so I just we'll don't see. know. I think the comeback is. I don't. I don't want to misquote. If you guys know when the comeback is, I just. I don't think they've officially announced it. I think there's speculation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, ugh, like what I'm I don't so want to happen. What I don't want to happen, and I don't want to get any flack for this because this has nothing to do with K-pop. It's just like a storytelling as a whole. Mm-hmm. Where we start, we start when they're when you get when the storyline starts getting convoluted and kind of murky, and we're starting to throw things together. It starts to kind of make it difficult, and that that happened with like EXO a couple times, but not on purpose. Not because they're lazy or lack of effort. Members left. Different things. Are I happening feel in life. like EXO. I feel like they had their concept and their idea mm. and I feel like the last like few years that we had gotten some sort of I feel like it was almost like by 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 flying by the seat of their pants like yeah. I feel like it wasn't what we got the last couple of years wasn't necessarily always the original plan right well and that original we'll never know what that is it exactly matter, because yeah. I don't think that they, I, I don't so, know if they could do their original plan right. now that they have three members missing and I think right. the original plan was when the 12 forces realign mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then the world will but they do some quick retcon they the introduce says. dimensions which give yeah. you a big safety blanket so but i think that that's you know that's why maybe mm. it got like murky because yeah. it wasn't yeah. the original 
these guys, I mean, Hong Jun has said, like, we don't even have half our storyline hasn't right. even been told yet. Yeah, for And sure. this for shit's sure. been planned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. They, they already have their storyline planned um, from long? what it seems. For how long, Yeah, though? I don't know. Because that's the thing. We don't want to have, like... Maybe their contract is seven years, so maybe they definitely have mm, it planned for seven yeah, years yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. See, that, that would add more security to, like... Yeah, so, like, I'll maybe, like, invested. we know for a fact that we have this content for the seven years. Right, like, right. I don't know. And they they debuted in um, twenty. Do we know how long the contract is? Seven years. It is seven years, and what year yeah. are we in right now for them? Um, didn't they debut in twenty? Is it twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen? Okay. And so, we're in twenty twenty three. Yeah. So how many years has it been so far? We're like halfway. Let me let me check. I can't. I'm blanking. I'm the fucking worst with remembering shit. What is wrong with me? AT's debut date. 2018, yeah, yeah, okay. October 24, 2018. Um, I always get it confused. Are AT signed to the same people that XO signed to? No. K- okay. They're, they're, they're a small company. KQ they're small, Entertainment. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, they're, the they were the that. only... They were the only group under this under this entertainment company for yeah. the longest time. Didn't have a ton of money. It kind of, it's kind of a BTS story at first. I got they you. really didn't have a lot of money, right. um, type of thing. Like, they, they are the only group type yeah. of thing. And, you know, they've... Through their work and dedication and their, their gaining popularity... Mm-hmm. KQ has now become a bigger, a little yeah. bit bigger of a name, right and they just debuted their little brothers. Right. So they okay. just, just cool. debuted. It. They're called Zykers. Yeah. And apparently they have a storyline. I got you. I got starting you. As the reason well. I was asking about that is because, like, where EXO is now, they're all, like, all the acts under their record label are, like, in a universe now. Like, Super yes. and all that stuff. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I would hate for something like that to happen because... I don't think so. I, I, there was... I just reacted to the Zykers music video, mm. and Hong Jun produced every song on the... Or helped produce every song on that album. Mm. Um, and I was like, oh, you can feel Hong Jun on this right, musically. Right, like, right, oh, right. you can feel, like, right. the, the sound. I was like, oh. Uh. Of course, he's, he's like, you know, he's like, oh. <laughs> so um, I was just this big ass smile on my face when I was listening to this. I'm like, I just feel like I can hear Hong Jun on this. Right. Um, which is a huge compliment. But anyway, um, so... But I was, like, looking, and as I'm reacting to this music video, I'm like, okay, I'm not trying to be biased or, like, but, like, because I don't know if these connect. I have no idea right. if these connect or right, not. Right, right, right. If they don't connect, I can see why they don't connect. If they, this is, but if they do, this is how it makes sense to me mm. for how it could. I got you. So I did, when I reacted, I did mention this is how I could possibly connect it mm. if I was going to go there, but I don't know if it does. Right, 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 right. And but, there's always possibility. Yeah. I mean, there's multiple dimensions, so they could interact with a version of ATs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. But that's the Wee. thing, too. Like, that's, that, in terms of, like, when you start getting into the storyline, and we're watching BTS right now, and BTS, like, set the bar, the bar like, super high in terms of, intricacy and consistency without having to delve into this world fantasy. Of, of fantasy because fantasy is a double-edged sword to where it's like now from you guys really don't care as much and you might like when they were like it's all dimensions thing so now I'm looking at this under a different scope you have to because now when it's you just introduce like, multiple dimensions yeah, you have and to it's just, and, it, but, and also it kind of like I want to use the right word here not like offend anybody but it, it kind of takes a lot of uh, it doesn't take a lot it takes a little bit away from the story altogether because now you're introducing this big thing that anything is possible anything and whatever is, is convenient so like if it's going great good but can you maintain that constant the consistency and quality yeah I of think... the lore if you want to go that route i'm not saying they have to be held to that standard but why invest this and roll into it and then like have a cop out as well too yeah i but think for that me, like but i don't follow these people like that yeah it's but not, we don't you know, know yeah right. we don't know what their grand <laughs> scheme, scheme is right, you right, know right. and they clearly seem like they've planned it definitely at least they, for the next five years for sure, for sure scheme. yeah yeah um so what did i say there what are we in 2023 this is five yeah. years so we only have like another two and a half years on their contract i'm assuming all of them are going to resign i mean yeah. i don't yeah. see why they wouldn't unless something insane happens in the next couple of years right i don't see why they wouldn't um and uh yeah which means hopefully this will just continue but or be um, comfortable and confident to like do something different like close this story out not necessarily right. like on yeah. ATs like themselves like even if they redo the, band, the contract like, close they could this always, story this yeah. book let's do it nice and neat and then now we can create a new adventure maybe you know what I you mean because like I don't I would hate for them to get uh, murky yeah not murky because gotcha. then it also gets like sloppy because like 
Obsession and then getting into like the last EXO video, like especially for their anniversary as well too. Like it delivered. Like the music was tight, choreo was tight, but the story was just like now what do we It was almost like for? a recap. Yeah. Not necessarily like what are we doing now? Yeah. yeah it was yeah, kinda yeah. like um because, like, you know... But when you told me that there's, like, a whole universe for all the acts under that label, and I was just like, this they've, they've is done that now. like, blah. I, I haven't even gotten into any of right, the other right. story because I'm just like, we all know that it was the EXO universe. For sure. We all for know sure. that. Sorry, I know this is an 80s video, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We all know it was the, an EXO universe, and then all of that kind of got all, like, fucked up throughout the years, yeah, and, like, yeah, it yeah. didn't... They didn't follow it the way... They didn't... They weren't consistent. And they didn't follow through with things the way that they needed to. And it wasn't to. because of lazy. It has nothing was to do with XO. Their, like, life, it was like, fucking like, SM. Yeah, SM. And then SM. life as well, too. Certain members are available, aren't available. We go in different directions. There's a, subgroups. And yeah. trying to tie these all into well, the stories. Well, and... yes and no. But, like, SM could have fucking done more. Of we course. all know it. We yeah, all, all fucking could. know SM right, could have done more. Right. And I feel like... And then with the switching of CEOs and stuff mm. like that, it's just... It's clear that like nothing that was how was how it was originally planned ended up happening mm-hmm. or is still happening to right. today. Right. And I just feel like because of that, like shit has gotten fucked up and they're doing the best they can with the story. But I feel like in order to try to save it and not only save it, they knew that the shit was good as fuck. Yeah. When they started. Like yeah. this was yeah, yeah. they are the ones that kind of catapulted a huge lore and huge mm-hmm. storyline for K pop, you know, uh, MVs. They kind of catapulted that whole thing, and yeah. so they know that it's like a, a thing, and it and it can be big, and it can be wonderful, and it's like I don't think they want to let go of that. Right. So it's like, so what do we do? EXO, well, EXO has it, a lore. EXO has a we have an EXO universe. Yeah. Why not have a Kwangya, Kwangya or whatever right. the fuck you call it, where right, it's like right. this is where they all like this is their they main... now all occupy this space, and I mean that's cool and like concept and stuff, but then at the same time like. It just takes away, though. Like, as someone who's an EXO alt, it fucking takes away. Or even, like, from the music standpoint, too, that that now they're, like, roping in other acts to work for this story, even if it's not, like, a major thing. They're literally making them. They're forcing them to, like, say Kwangya in their fucking lyrics. Like, I mean, come on. Like, I get that you're trying to connect them all, but you're literally forcing them to put the word Kwangya in their lyrics. Like, don't you have enough control? Make it, make it be more organic than that, yeah. man. Like, don't force it. And that's, I think, why I'm annoyed is yeah. they're literally forcing it and trying... It's like, stop trying to make fetch happen, Gretchen. Fetch isn't going to happen. <laughs> like, that's literally how I feel. Yeah. Like, stop trying to make Kwangya happen. It's not... Sorry, I know this is an AT's reaction. We're just going yeah. on. I'm fucking yeah, yeah. losing my shit. You can't but start talking about EXO's universe right. without me getting pissed off at yeah. SM, but, so... Like, to our point, we don't want this to happen to them. Right, this, exactly. This, this is, like, if you're this trying to, so like, good. if you're, like, toning, if you're tuning in and out and you're just like, man, what the fuck? If you're, what, what are they talking about? Yeah. The, yeah. The, to, to kind of put a pin It's upsetting. That, yeah. <laughs> it's upsetting. And I don't, we don't ever want to see that right. to happen, happen to the So guys. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, I hope that they have a clear plan and it yeah. doesn't get murky and it doesn't right, get, right. yeah. And if it's, it's okay if it gets murky, like, end it. We can, like, do something new. Like, don't yeah. be scared to do something new. Like, don't yeah. hold on for 12 it's years. It's hard, though, because it's, like, this is literally them. I understand from the that. beginning I get that, and they I, are they are the pirates and again they are the pirate kings for, I agree I agree so it's, it like, is hard to like to try to think of the, what new story are we gonna do this is 80s with pirates yeah I get that you know I get that but like but if anything grow. you can close the multi-dimension story and just end up with your the, these are the ones yeah and, and go reset. forward yeah, from there definitely, definitely. And like, or you can okay. just tell a totally different story like all together we can do but I, something different but they're pirates I get that. And I'll just bring it up again. <laughs> Don't get mad. I'm going to bring it up in EXO as well, too. Red Force wasn't bad guys. They were bad guys. When I when that story started happening and I was seeing it happen, I was just like, this is what it's going to be. Yeah. And not not to rub anybody the wrong way, but it's just like, this is what happens when, when it's like it's too convoluted. And But luckily for EXO, the art didn't suffer. Like the actual music and the performance and the quality right. of their content didn't suffer. Yeah, well, because the artists were great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SM but just... ATs has got something like really, really popping right now. And like whatever phase or era you want to call it that they're in right now, this drum and bass jungle sound that they have on their breaks at the end of the song, <laughs> know, you got my so, attention. So good. You speak of my language now. It's so good. You got me. Uh, I was so excited when I saw this music video. Yeah, this like, shit what? is popping. I was like, oh shit, they're they're feeding themselves. I they're really... the best of the best of the yeah, versions yeah, of yeah, themselves. Yeah. And that's that's ultimately I just don't want that to happen because these guys got a good trajectory. They've been in it for a few years. Yeah. And it's it's pretty consistent. 
like in terms of like have they been cranking the this out? Sound yeah. and the, the the quality uh, and yeah. I actually look forward to this because it's going to be coming out soon. Yeah. There and like I don't even care about speculation and theory at this point. I just want to know what's happening in the story. I know. I'm like, hold on, let me look up like AT's next comeback. <clears throat> AT's. Those are fun, aren't they? Yeah. Can you connect? Them? I don't think so. AT's next yeah. comeback, 2023. Unfortunately, there are no concert dates for ATs. I didn't ask for concert dates. Hello? Hello. Um, um, I don't know. The only thing I see is about Limitless. Mm. Which is cool. Yeah. That's cool, too. Well, because this just happened. I mean, this is her Japanese album, though. So mm. it's not... Uh, we're trying to... I'm, yeah, this was just a month ago. Yeah. Um, March 21st. Yeah, literally, like, a month ago. Um, but I... Um, what am I trying to say? What the fuck? Um, Potential comeback after the Japanese album? Yeah. So um, typically, I mean, uh, the Japanese, well, I'm talking about a Korean comeback, which yeah, is yeah, like yeah. when they do like their big albums. So. Right, right, right. Um, and they yeah. press that shit the fuck out. Go yeah. On, like, super you cool. want to know what's funny? What's that? Halizia wasn't supposed to be as big as it was. Wow. It was just supposed to be a filler. Yeah, yeah, until, yeah. Until, yeah. like, the next thing. Right, right. Which was the Japanese comeback. Right, right, But I'm right. just like, what? I'm like, that shit how is he is? Like, the amount of time and money they put into Halazia for a fucking filler? What? Yeah, yeah, Are you yeah, kidding yeah, me? Yeah. Unless I'm, unless I have misinformation, that is what I heard. That Halazia was just kind of supposed to be, like, a filler thing. Yeah, just to hold you Not, like, to hold you over to the next right, thing type right, of... Because right. cause Halazia was on, um... If you look at... Uh, this album, if I can find it, hello, show album, um, it's just a five song album. Oh, it's just like a little EP. Just it a little, was just, just a little, a little EP. Sample. It's yeah. a little filler. And if you notice, the other things on it are just remixes of their songs that they already have. Right, right, Halizia right. was the only thing. And then the outro Bluebird is just, um, just that it's that it's just like, like a, a little outro for real for real like a little yeah. radio communication who's out yeah there. yeah so literally the only new song was Halazia. so I this was you. like almost it was almost a single right, if you think about right. it because the others are just remixes and then an outro so who are these um, guys are these the bluebirds right here no i don't think they are um i think the the bluebirds were to me the society that was stuck and mm. under control yeah, yeah, yeah they were the little bluebirds that lost their voice right and, right. and then the halazia guys were like we're going to fight and speak up for them gotcha. and re get, restore the gravity right. and allow them to and move and, and be free. free and you know again um which makes sense with the brief be free bracelet at the end and everything yeah. Um, but I just, when I saw that Be Free bracelet at the end of The Witness, I was like, ah! yeah. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I was so this excited. Is, I'm, I'm, re I'm excited. I'm excited to see yeah. what they got coming out now. Me too. Anyway, okay, we've just been fucking chatting it up. If y'all like it, then you must still be here. And if not, well, then you've already clicked off by now, so bye. it doesn't matter. But bye. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of just here just because we enjoy this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. guys enjoy it with us, I'm so happy you're here with us. And if some people who don't enjoy it, I don't give a shit because yeah. we're, we're enjoying we're this shit. Fun. We're, we're excited fun. and we're having fun. Let me fun. know what you think about these guys. Yeah, for sure. Like, what do you think? Like, are do you think these we're, are like We're in a rare space elite, now. We're in a rare know? space to where it's like now you're like everyone is in a space where I want everybody to like kind of enjoy themselves you yeah everyone you are caught up yeah you were caught we're all caught up you're yeah. caught up to all the storyline so not, stuff nothing about speculation and and what my opinion and observation is now it's like now we can speak freely yeah now, now, now we, we can, can talk. actually what you have thinking? theories now yeah. we can have like theories and i'm about that yeah which i've never happened because i've always been behind so now yeah. that we're caught up now let's talk theories. It's exciting. Yeah. Oh my God. I didn't. Oh, I'll have to tell you later. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, Cause that's another thing too. Everybody's like, Oh man, I like your theory so much, but it's just like, I'm so behind. Like it's not really a theory. It's just my observation. Now we're in like theory territory. Yeah. Now we well, can, I will like, tell now you. We can it's, shoot fine. Even though it's the end of this, all, yeah. it's not, it has nothing to do. It's about the EXO comeback. Okay. Apparently there's supposed to be three MVs released. Okay. Supposedly. And supposedly, do you remember the path code teasers? Yeah. Supposedly they're supposed to be doing some shit like that. Some shit like that. That's what I heard. That's exciting. I, I'm so excited. That's exciting. A, that's exciting. I don't know if it's true. But at that's the same time, heard, but like, I don't because they've been it, teasing shit. Right. I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer, but I don't want it to be like path codes though. I don't want you to be a repeat saying? of exactly. what we've already had. Give me but something new. But like with new. that, with that, with that same it's idea, new and that fresh. concept, right? Concept, right, but right. new and fresh. Please. Let's do. Yes. Yeah. Let's do some puzzles. Let's figure some shit yeah. out. Let's do some more code and figure shit out. Like I'm about that. But if it's just like. A maps and cities and all this other shit like man come on we did that we, we already did, we did this that. we need something, something new different. yeah exactly we're in space now if we have to do like constellations and download like a star map or some oh, shit bro fun. we can do that 
<laughs> That'd be fun. I'm about that. Yeah. Let's do yeah, that. Because the last thing they were on a spaceship. Yeah. 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 Let's do that. Anyway. Okay. Sorry. All right. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. About all of this shit. Um, Me too. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I would very much appreciate it. Hey, if you're interested in this exo shit we've been talking about, yeah. we have an entire exo theory reaction on on yeah. the channel under playlist. It's ex called Exo Theories. Um, so feel free to check that out. We literally go from point A all the way to Z. Eh. <laughs> to Z. <laughs> anyway, um, so we did that. And yeah, you can follow along and see if you think that anything we're saying makes sense or not. Or yeah. with the new information that has been presented as well yeah. too what did we miss then yeah back exactly. then we can do we can do the back backlog <sighs> yeah exactly see what's happening all right y'all we're gonna go yep um i love you guys you I guys are awesome and uh please 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 like comment subscribe yep. let us know your thoughts down below Drink and we will see you guys in the next video late is Bye. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da. Da -da.